Oh, yeah. We got to talk new show now. Though. I know, I know. <laughs> So for, for an apocalyptic world, it's the most lush, vibrant, colorful. World. Yeah, we're we're really setting out to tell an anti-apocalypse story. Um, you know, it's not about death; it's about rebirth. It's about hope. It's about rebuilding. It's about restoration. Um, you know, there's a reason I said it 15 years after the event that caused society to fall because um, I really didn't want like a harrowing or depressing show. I wanted a really fun you know, swashbuckling show about about you know heroes setting out to restore the landscape. Um, and because it's about like you know, look, the shows. I mean, what's great about an event that causes society to fall uh, is at least in terms of storytelling, not in reality. But um, but what's great about it is it, it, it really lets you have a conversation about what in our society doesn't work, but what you know what about us doesn't work, but also what about us will redeem us, and and that. It's not just about you know society falls. It's about that brotherhood and loyalty and family and love and compassion. Like we can actually save ourselves. And so I wanted to tell a story that had a hopeful message as well. Um, I, was, oh, I was just going to say. So, um, I, how 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 did you go about doing this after doing Supernatural? Uh, well, you know, uh, I I just was sort of interested interested in, um, well, you know, after, uh, you know, after Sarah really took off over the day-to-day -day show running, Sarah Gamble took over the day-to-day -day show running Supernatural, first thing I did was take time off, <laughs> decompressed a little bit, and um, slept and saw my kids, um, and I did all that for a little while, and which was lovely, by the way, and um, and so now, then it was just about coming up with what's the next thing, and, and then it really was that, you know, it's it, it started with what was my interest in, uh, it was my interest in this sort of Joseph Campbell model of storytelling, these epic quests. A lot of that's in Supernatural, frankly, but I just, I love those mythic quests of like good and evil and, and, and heroes and journeys, and, and it's all very Joseph Campbell. It's Star Wars, it's Lord of the Rings, it's Wizard of Oz, it's the Odyssey, and, and I just, I love that type of story. So it was just about coming up with what's a great setting for that story to take place in. And, and where, you know, I landed was this sort of changed landscape. And it was with working with Bad Robot that we landed on this, you know, really compelling what if. And, and that it, it's not about nuclear war or disease or zombies. You know, it's just as simple as what if the power went out? And what if we just flipped off the lights? And, and because that's something I think everyone can really relate to and understand and visualize of how would they react in that world. Um, everyone knows what it's like when there's a five minute blackout in their house and how frustrating and scary it is. <laughs> Never mind if it happens forever or when your computer freezes up. How angry, have, do you ever get angrier in your day than when your computer malfunctions? And so if the entire world malfunctions, how do we all react? We, we, we're all dangerously separated from our food and water supplies. And, and, and it would be really difficult and challenging. An entirely new society would have to be formed. Um, and so that was sort of, a, I think, a really great jumping off point because I think everyone can visualize themselves and what would they do and how would they survive. And, um, and for the record, to answer that question, I would not survive. <laughs> My best move is to be someone's concubine. I thought about this. So I, I'm going to find someone strong and I'm going to join their harem. If they'll have me. I don't, I don't know if they will. So the concentration of the show is to uh, how to survive and to go on, not the struggle to try to figure out the problem and to try to go back to how things were. Well, or yeah, is it both? It, it's a little bit of everything. I mean, it's 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 just very simple, clean story. So it's. It's about heroes that are trying to turn the power back on, whether or not we should, like whether or not we should return to the way things were, because some things are great and a lot of things aren't. Um, but that's all part and parcel with the storyline. It's just about a girl trying to get her brother back. Um, because, and that's where I like, that's how I like to create, you know, special stuff that's in genre is you really focus on the characters, you really focus on the humanity. That's what makes it relatable. Anyone can relate to, I want my family back. It's a little, and it's a little more hard to relate to, how would I turn the national grid on? Um, but everyone knows what it's like 
to you know get your family back or if your freedoms were taken away what would you do and how would you fight for them and so for me it's those really bloody emotional issues are really the bread and butter of the show and, and that you can thread the mystery and the mythology through that but you look at any great genre show, you look at Lost, which is the gold standard of an ensemble genre show, uh, you look at Buffy, you look at X-Files, uh, you know, uh, that they're all about the characters. And, uh, yeah, sure, that island is interesting, but people tune in for those characters. And so that's what we're really working on, focusing on. How far is how far of the plan do you have now? <laughs> I get asked this question a lot. The um, uh, you know I have I certainly have the first season down. I know the next couple years out past that. Um, I, I've sort of learned. I know I'm sort of infamous for the supernatural five year plan, uh, which is all well and good until you get to year six. And uh, and so this one is really a whole world. And and this one is there's you know the Monroe Republic, the country that you know the that the story now takes place in, but that's not to say that's the only country in North America, and and that's not to say that there is an entire world to explore here. So really nothing but potential storylines and horizons and characters. So, you know, God willing, we go that long. I mean, you know, it's... it's but uh, but that if we do, that we'll, you know, uh, this is one that, uh, uh, you know, that I'll, I'll be able to keep that plan going and going and going. <laughs> can you talk... Last question. Can you talk a little bit about the structure of the show? Supernatural is a lot of anthology and it was Monster of the Week. Yeah. How is it... I mean, are you going to be a lot more serialized this time? Uh, no, we, we found an interesting way... I mean, luckily, the heroic quest is episodic in structure. Uh, you know, there's when you find the Tin Man, or when you go to the island where the Cyclops is. And, and that when you're traveling, you, you move through these towns and these areas where each one has its own story, where you pick up another piece of the puzzle that gets you closer and closer to your ultimate goal. So it's going to be a lot of this week we're passing through this town and we have either this problem or this fight mm -hmm. and then we pick up whatever you know item we need to get us to the next step so uh, you'll be able to pick up the show you don't have to it's not like a soap you don't have to watch every single episode you can leave the party come back to the party um, and, it's, and it's meant to be in a way that, that you, you can understand and have certain episodic elements thanks everybody